We welcome the recent SU agreement. Call upon all member states to actively engage in both regional and global environmental efforts. Closer cooperation on poverty alleviation is critical. Ensuring Afghan soil is not misused for terrorism against its neighbors by any entity. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, once again, assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. We are at a historic moment of transition where sweeping transformations are reshaping the global, social, political, economic, and security landscape. From the esteemed platform of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, a beacon of multilateralism, I stand resolute in the belief that we possess not only the potential but the collective will to forge a future that is more prosperous, stable and secure for our people. A future that is inclusive and reflective of the shared aspirations of all member states. Excellencies, when Pakistan assumed the chair of this August Forum last year, we reaffirmed our commitment to the regional peace, stability, enhanced connectivity, and sustainable socio-economic development. We believe these tenets are fundamental to the SEO's progress and to the advancement of our collective vision. Ladies and gentlemen, through the concerted efforts of all member states, we have been able to progress on this path. The joint communique of our meeting stands testament to our shared commitment to fostering sustainable and inclusive economic growth, leveraging enhanced activity, connectivity, and adopting forward-thinking mechanism for green development. Our collaboration, joint teamwork, spans academic and tourism linkages, poverty alleviation, and the empowerment of women and youth across the SEO region, a reflection and a commitment of our determination to promote prosperity through unity. Excellencies, I take pride in highlighting several forward-looking initiatives during Pakistan's chairmanship. During our chairmanship, the SEO economic preference base enhanced cooperation between trade promotion organizations, the creative economy framework, and the SEO new economic dialogue program. These initiatives chart a promising course and a bright future, but now it is imperative that we shift to tangible actions through coordinated implementation, strengthening our cooperation in the vital sectors of trade and economy. Ladies and gentlemen, Afghanistan, by virtue of its contiguity with our region presents an invaluable and rare opportunity for trade and transit, benefiting all SU member states. A stable Afghanistan is not only desirable, but essential to fully realizing these great opportunities. The international community must step forward with urgent humanitarian support while calling upon the Afghan interim government to embrace political inclusivity, thereby ensuring Afghan soil is not misused for terrorism against its neighbors by any entity. Excellencies, economic collaboration is at the heart of 
SEO engagement, investment in regional infrastructure, particularly in the realms of transport and energy, is indispensable for promoting our economic integration. Pakistan welcomes the decision by the SEO Council of Heads of State to ensure and endorse the strategy for the development of Energy Cooperation 2030 and the establishment of the Association of Investors. We stand ready to play our part in realizing these lofty ambitions. While supporting all SEO connectivity initiatives, Pakistan underscores the importance of establishing a robust SEO connectivity framework. This framework should not merely boost regional trade, but should also advance the vision of connected Euro-Asia. Flagship projects like the Belt and Road Initiative of uh, President Xi Jinping, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which is uh, in its second phase, and the International North-South Transport Corridor should be expanded, focusing on developing road, rail, and digital infrastructure that enhances integration and cooperation across our region. Let us not look at such projects through the narrow political prism and invest in our collective connectivity capacities, which are crucial to advancing the shared vision of an economically integrated region. Let us work together for a well-connected, integrated, and prosperous region that benefits all member states. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, poverty is not just an economic issue. It is a moral imperative that demands our collective attention. With millions living in poverty within the SU region, closer cooperation on poverty alleviation is critical because as the saying goes, poverty leads to ultimate annihilation. As the permanent chair of the SCO, Special Working Group on Poverty, Pakistan has facilitated several seminars and webinars aimed at sharing of knowledge and best practices to remove poverty from the face of this region. We shall continue to provide the required impetus to our collective effort to address the root causes of poverty and uplift the quality of life for our people. Excellencies, climate change is an existential crisis that transcends borders. Its impacts are felt universally, but more acutely by nations like Pakistan, which is on the front line of climate-induced disasters. 19, uh, 2022 devastating floods in Pakistan is a case in point when millions of people in this country were living under open skies. Millions of acres of standing crop was all washed away. Millions of houses were all drowned and our economy suffered immense losses, approximately $30 billion. And for no fault of ours, Excellencies, it is imperative that we prioritize environmental cooperation within the SEO to build resilience and secure a sustainable future
for generations to come. We welcome the recent SU agreement on environmental protection and call upon all member states to actively engage in both regional and global environmental efforts. Pakistan, by the grace of God, has developed a proactive technology-driven disaster management system named as National Disaster Management Agency, which is one of its own kind in the world. We look forward to organizing simulation exercises with SU partners to bolster disaster preparedness across the region. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, unilateral coercive measures and protectionist policies run contrary to the principles of international law. They stifle economic growth, hinder technological advancements, and incessorbate inequality. Reforming the global financial architecture and trade regimes is essential to fostering equitable global development. Pakistan supports the establishment of an SU alternative development funding mechanism, which could provide the impetus needed for the revival of stalled development projects. I also welcome the timely decision by the SU Council of Heads of State to establish financial support mechanisms for project implementations within the SU framework. Excellencies, Ladies and gentlemen, as leaders, we must encourage our private sectors to cultivate an environment that is to conducive to do business and investment within the SU region. I commend the Pakistan Federation of Chambers of Commerce and Industry for its collaborative efforts with SU ministers in Islamabad, facilitating productive dialogues that strengthen economic ties. Such initiatives must be nurtured to deepen economic cooperation and drive regional prosperity. Distinguished delegates, the growing consensus among member states on the use of mutual currencies for settlements is a promising development. The SEO Interbank Union is an appropriate forum to address banking challenges and moving towards settlement in mutual currencies will shield us from global financial disruptions. The SU Consortium of Economic Analytic Think Tanks also serves as a key platform for scholars adapting economic and trade dynamics. Their insights enrich regional economic frameworks. As chair, Pakistan has spearheaded valuable research this year, which has been shared with member states for collective benefits. Excellencies, Pakistan firmly believes that a stronger, more effective SEO is essential to achieving sustainable development in our region. We wholeheartedly endorse the ongoing reforms aimed at modernizing this organization, enhancing the resources and capabilities of the SEO Secretariat and the regional anti-terrorist structure. But let us not forget the true essence of the SEO extends beyond political alliances and economic partnerships. It is the rich mosaic of our cultures, the diversity of our people that forms the heart of this organization. Pakistan remains deeply committed to fostering people-to-people -people ties and cultural exchanges that bridge divides and promote harmony, cultivate understanding and deepen cooperation in unity and with shared purpose we can build lasting legacies 
and enrich the future of all our nations. I thank you all.